In a very real sense, the spiritually abusive system is a spiritual trap, and not just any old trap, a good one. As we've already seen, spiritually abusive systems are easy to get into but hard to leave. The leaders assume power and demand obedience. They foster loyalty to the organization with implied or overt scare tactics and threats. Leaving the system is equal to leaving God in his protection. Paranoia about the evils outside the system makes people afraid to leave. This begins the building of a trap. Then comes the bait. There are many kinds of bait in the spiritually abusive church, family, or organization. Right standing with God is probably the most common bait. In 2 Corinthians 11, 13-15, Paul says that false apostles disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. The abusive system gives people an opportunity to earn God's approval with their own positive self-effort. In fact, this bait is so appealing that people fail to notice several things. For instance, they learn to ignore others around them who point out that they are being neglected or mistreated. They overlook it when they grow more tired as time goes on. They ignore the fact that people close to them are leaving and urging them to leave. They are oblivious to how it is becoming easier to justify the things that not too long ago they abhorred. Other baits might include the approval of people, religious status or position, a paycheck, the promise that things will improve, or an opportunity to be shamed and mistreated in a way that is consistent with their sense of deserving to be punished for being so bad. In addition to everything else these people ignore, they overlook the fact that their goal keeps moving out of reach. This reveals the third aspect of a good trap. Like the donkey who runs faster to reach the carrot on a stick, the bait draws people deeper and deeper into the abusive religious system. At least the minnows get the crackers. If they want to stop struggling, a voice within warns them, what if you give up now just when you are about to have a spiritual breakthrough? So they cannot stop. This introduces the concept of equity rescuing. When people do this with a house, we call the house a money pit. Money pits are houses that suck people's money into an endless home improvement mission. This happens because they invest money into the house to make it more livable. But more things keep going bad, then more money is needed to continue the improvements. After a while, more and more investment is needed to rescue all the money already put into the house. This also happens with jobs. After 10 years in a job you hate, your conversation with yourself goes something like this. I hate my job. I think I'll quit. Wait a minute, I can't quit. If I quit, I'll what wasted the past 10 years. I'll stay for another year. If things don't improve in a year, then I'll quit. The problem is that in a year, you have another year's equity to rescue, and you'd have to walk away from 11 years instead of 10, so it's harder to leave than before. 